Nine out of ten for a second week in a row, Ohio is reporting a drop in COVID cases per 100,000 population. The state must average 50 cases per 100,000 for all the current health orders to be lifted. Right now, the state is averaging 155 cases per 100,000 residents. That is down 17% from last week. But Ohio still has a ways to go in the fight against the coronavirus. Two News reporter Caroline Morse is live in Dayton after talking with health leaders about how the state can reach the goal. Just two weeks ago, the state was averaging 200 cases per 100,000. Now, last week, we dipped to about 185 uh, per 100,000. Now, we are currently sitting at 155 per 100,000. Now, health leaders I spoke with say that they agree with the governor's decision to maintain health orders until we achieve that 50 cases per 100,000, which may take several weeks, if not months. I think we can get down to that goal of less than 50 and 100,000. It's just going to take us longer if we do not speed up the process of getting vaccinations. Health leaders say in order to see case rates decline, vaccinations must continue to increase. Clark County Health Commissioner Charles Patterson says they had over 2,000 doses available on Thursday, but only filled about 700 of those today. It, it's certainly a much more difficult job at this point, uh, but we will continue to do it as if people want vaccine, we're going to be there to give it to them. According to state data, more than 460,000 doses were administered the last week of March, but dropped to 370,000 two weeks later. Numbers dropped even further the week of April 17th to 221,000. Health leaders say one factor in the decline was the pause of Johnson & Johnson vaccines. It's basically fear at this point, or it's um, it's people who just aren't plugged in right now. They're like, no, this doesn't matter to me. It doesn't matter whether I get a vaccine or not. Patterson estimates a vaccine will be available to every American citizen by July 1st. And if the case rate doesn't continue to decrease, the game plan will need to change. It becomes personal health. Uh, what we're trying to do is public health, which is to stop the spread of the disease. Once people have it and have decided not to take precautions by getting a vaccine, uh, at that point, we're going to have to wait and sit what the guidance from the governor is uh, in the future. Public Health says they are welcoming walk-in appointments, but if you do need to schedule one, visit our website, WDTN.com, for more information. Live in Dayton, I'm Caroline Morse. Two news working for you.